Regional anesthesia is the process of injecting local anesthetic or numbing a medication around a nerve to make a certain portion of the body numb. It's applicable to a variety of clinical scenarios, ranging from joint replacements such as knee surgery or hip surgery, and also ranging from shoulder surgery, arm, wrist, ankle surgery. There's a variety of applications for regional anesthesia. And it's essentially an ideal way of providing exceptional pain management with very minimal side effects. It can be a nice alternative to traditional pain management techniques uh, in that we can really minimize the patient's experience of having nausea and vomiting and optimize the patient's ability to have a fast recovery. It's uh, certainly gaining a lot of uh, popularity amongst surgeons and patients as well. Um, it's a technique that um, is advantageous because it provides uh, exceptional pain control exactly where it's needed. Um, our uh, goal is to inject local anesthetic or numbing medication around the nerve that will make the surgical site numb for the surgery and afterwards. Regional anesthesia or a nerve block is administered uh, before surgery traditionally. Patients are often given a um, relaxing medication to reduce any anxiety. So the procedure itself of performing the nerve block really is um, not an uncomfortable process for the patient. It's actually um, on the level of having your IV placed. So patients are very comfortable during the procedure. The great benefit is that by numbing up the area before surgery, patients often require a lot less anesthesia during the actual procedure. In some instances when it's appropriate based on the surgery you're having, you actually may be able to avoid general anesthesia altogether. The recovery is a lot faster. Uh, our goal is to provide exceptional pain control while minimizing the side effects. With uh, peripheral nerve blocks or general anesthesia, the need for IV pain medications is often very minimal or you may, patients may be able to avoid those medications altogether. The benefit of that is that side effects such as nausea and vomiting are much reduced. In addition, since we're able to use a lot less general anesthesia or no general anesthesia during the actual procedure, patients are a lot more alert after the surgery. They're less likely to be groggy. The end result is that you can return to your daily life a lot faster. For surgeons, one of the advantages is certainly that patients are receiving exceptional pain control with minimal side effects. This is advantageous because those patients are able to return to their daily lives very soon after surgery. Another benefit is that for patients that are receiving uh, surgeries that involve physical therapy, since the patients are having great pain control with minimal side effects, the patient's able to participate in physical, physical therapy a lot sooner. If a patient has obstructive sleep apnea, then regional anesthesia is often a very attractive option for that patient. These patients are a lot more sensitive to the effects of IV pain medications on their breathing. So with regional anesthesia, you can often avoid or really minimize the amount of IV or even oral pain medications that these patients are receiving. So in fact, you're able to provide great pain control without affecting the patient's breathing. Well, it really involves a team approach. Uh, the members of that team are certainly our anesthesiologists. Uh, we have several anesthesiologists that are trained in performing peripheral nerve blocks, both with and without ultrasound guidance. Our surgeons are involved in terms of educating our patients starting in the surgical office visit, um, all the way up um, through members of our team such as the preoperative nurses and the nurses in the recovery room. Every member of the team is educated specifically in caring for patients with peripheral nerve blocks so that the care can be exceptional.